In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add lives to your game. I've got my player open already, and the first thing I need to do is make sure that uh, we have some lives to begin with. When the player is created, we want to set lives um, to maybe three lives. So I'm going to click on Add Event, and we'll use the Create Event. So remember, we always use Create if we want to do something when uh, an object is created. Under the Skull tab, you'll find there's a little Live section with a number of different options. We've got Set Lives, Test Lives, Draw Lives, and Draw Life Images. So I'm going to um, drag Set Lives in there, and I'm going to set Lives to be free. So this will basically make lives uh, free uh, when you first start the game. And once um, I've done that, the next thing I need to do is to add a little bit of code to each of my bomb, ghost, and follow. <clears throat> so rather than losing the game immediately, I want to reduce the number of lives. So let's see how to do this. So first of all, I'm going to drag set lives into here. I'm going to set life to be minus one and I'm going to click relative. If you remember when we did score, relative basically adds on whatever's in this box. Now, if you add on a negative number, it's the same as subtracting that number. So adding minus one is the same as subtracting one. So this will basically take one away from the lives. So I'm going to reduce the lives by one. I'm then going to test lives. And if the lives are equal to zero, that's when I want to go to the next room. But if they're not zero, they want to um, basically restart the room, maybe. So I'm going to go to Control, and I'm going to drag in Else. And then I'm going to go to Main 1, and I'm going to choose this one, which is Restart Room. So rather than restart the whole game, it's just going to restart the room that you're currently on. Now, the problem with if statements in Game Maker is that they don't look particularly very tidy. So I'm just going to add something. Now, this doesn't actually do much for this example. But what it does do is make it a little bit more readable. Okay. Uh, later on, as you get more uh, in depth with Game Maker, uh, you will use these start name blocks in a lot more detail. But for now, all I'm simply doing is basically trying to tidy up, make it look a bit more presentable. So now, let's look at the logic. I take one away from lives. If the lives is zero, then I will go to uh, room two. So go to the game over screen. If it's not zero then I will just simply restart the current room. Okay, so this is a, is the code I need. So I'm now going to highlight it all, and I'm going to copy it. I'm just simply going to, oops, I'm going to delete what's here, and I'm going to paste it in. So I'm going to delete what's here, and paste it in. Um, you'll see that I'm actually copying a lot of code. Now this isn't obviously the best way to do it. There's much more... Uh, uh, object orientated ways of doing it but to keep things simple we're going to do it this way okay because I want to make sure uh, we, we do this as simply as we can. So I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to run the game. <coughs> now, first thing you notice if I start playing the game so I'm just going to pick up some apples you'll notice that it has a score there. Now let's say I lose a level See, I lost a life there, and I lost all my lives. So there's a couple of issues there. Let's run it again. Let's see what those issues are. The first issue was that when I do touch the bomb, the player doesn't actually uh, jump anywhere. So I need to basically make the player jump back to where it started from. So let's uh, go back to it and let's go to the bomb and then I'm going to use one of these tools jump to start I'm going to drag that just before 
the restart room. So it's going to jump back to start position. Now the reason why it's not doing this is uh, you know, automatically is because the player is persistent. And I want to keep the persistence um, so the player is on every every level. But this will basically force it to jump back to where it should be. So I'm just going to add that uh, to all of them. And then let's test it again. The thing about Game Maker is it's well worth trying out ideas, seeing how they work, and then giving them another go. Let's test that. There we go. And now jumping back to the start. So you see, I lost two lives there. And there's my third life lost. Now, the other problem is that actually it's not displaying lives on the screen.